Today we're looking at every single Lego Harry Potter set that's retiring here in 2023. We're going to analyze each one and I'm going to give you my grades for investing. You ready? Here we go. As always, before we go any further, I need you to know that I am not a financial advisor. There is risk involved when investing in Lego sets, so you can't take anything I say as absolute truth. But I've been investing in Lego since 2014, and I love to share my experiences with you here on the Jake's Bricks YouTube channel. The goal of this channel really is just to help Lego collectors like myself fund their Lego building hobby through Lego investing. So as long as we're on the same page, we are good. Let's waste no more time and let's jump into our Harry Potter Lego sets. The first set we're looking at is the Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion Mistake. This comes straight out of the Chamber of Secrets movie. And this set is pretty great. It's a smaller set. Lego Harry Potter theme usually releases several 20 to $25 sets every single year. This is one of the $20 sets here in the US. It has four unique minifigures that are included. And the reason this set has potential to do well for investing is it has the golden 20th anniversary Harry Potter minifigure. There have been several 20th anniversary sets that have retired over the last couple years, each one of them including a golden minifigure. Collectors are going to want to have every single one of those minifigures. Obviously, Harry Potter is the most iconic character. The problem is, this set is extremely abundant. It has been on the market for a long time. It has a low dollar value, and there is a ton, a ton, a ton of inventory. So I would not recommend people going totally deep on investing in this specific Lego set, but I would imagine in two to three years time, there will be tons of Lego Harry Potter collectors that will want that specific golden Harry Potter minifigure. So I'm not grading this set extremely poorly and I'm not grading it extremely highly. I'm gonna give this set a B minus for investing. Next, we have another $20 set and that is the Harry Potter Hogwarts carriage and the Thestrals. This set was released in June of 2022 and has two unique minifigures that are a part of it. This set I think is going to do pretty well for investing. Of course, I'm usually hesitant on investing in Lego sets that are under the $50 mark because they have such a low buy-in, there's a lot of inventory on the secondary market. But this is the first Harry Potter set that we've gotten with the Thestral uh, horses. So those I think are gonna be extremely collectible to Harry Potter collectors and those that want kind of a darkish black horse figure for their city or any sort of mock build that they do. So that I think helps increase the desirability for this Lego set. Again, there's a ton of inventory out there. It's, you're able to get this set on a variety of different retailers. So I'm not gonna grade it super high, but I'm gonna grade it slightly higher than the previous set. And I'm gonna give this set a B for investing. Next, you're gonna get a four for one, and that is the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts banners. Uh, you've got Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. Four different banners. The price on each one of these is $35. Each one of them comes with three unique minifigures. All of these house banners were released in March of 2023. So if they do end up actually retiring here at the end of the year, we're gonna have them on the shelf for just under a year, which is unheard of for any Harry Potter Lego set. Harry Potter and Star Wars sets almost always exist on the market for at least a year or a year and a half at minimum. So it would be surprising for Lego to actually retire these specific Lego sets. What I have heard rumblings of is that the Harry Potter house banners are not great sellers. They look a little bit similar to the uh, classes, books that you had previously over the last several years. So I think Lego is trying to continue on in that vein or in that theme, and these ones just aren't hitting as well. So that means that they probably have low demand. And I think ultimately, based on the short shelf life, they will have low supply. The question mark about these specific Lego sets, will the demand post-retirement reach the supply? Will Lego Harry Potter collectors want all of those minifigures? Will they want to have house banner Lego sets? It doesn't really seem like it's a popular sub-theme currently. I did mention these specific Lego sets in my top 10 Lego sets for investing here in 2023. You can check out that video by clicking the exclamation point in the top corner. If it's not overly hoarded and we find collectors wanting these sets after they retire, we could see these sets getting up to 55, 60, maybe even $70 by next Christmas. Time will tell, I'm not sure yet at this point, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and rank these four sets at an A minus. 
Next, we have a $40 Lego set, and that is the Professors of Hogwarts Brickheads set. Broad stroke statement, Brickheads are usually really great investments, specifically licensed Brickheads sets. And this set, I think, is no exception. The only hesitation I have is that this set has less iconic characters. Obviously, all of the characters are iconic. We've got Severus Snape, Professor McGonagall, Mad-Eye Moody, and Professor Trelawney. These characters are, I would say McGonagall and Severus Snape are probably the most iconic and then the other two slightly less iconic. Does that mean it won't be collectible? No, not necessarily. It just doesn't mean that every single Harry Potter fan will want this specific Brickhead set. It has a higher, higher dollar value. I think the higher dollar value actually prevents it from being over hoarded and the fact that it's a lego.com exclusive also helps. So I actually am going to grade this set at a B plus for investing. If we don't find a ton of inventory on the secondary market, we could see this set appreciate up to the 50, 60, or $70 mark here in the next couple years. Next, we have the $40 buildable Hedwig. This set is awesome uh, because it is a awesome buildable iconic Hedwig. It includes a unique Harry Potter minifigure and it is a Barnes and Noble exclusive. Those three factors make it a great investment. What doesn't make it a great investment is it's been on the market since June of 2020. What doesn't make it a great investment is that it's been on the market since June of 2020. So at the end of this year, we'll be looking at about three and a half years on the shelf, which is a long shelf life for a Harry Potter Lego set. But because it's a Barnes and Noble and Lego.com exclusive, there will probably be less inventory Definitely some inventory, but less inventory on the secondary market. I could see this set getting up to $60 or $65 by next Christmas if we don't have a ton of inventory out there post-retirement. So I'm going to grade this set at, I will give it a B plus as well. Uh, I think it's going to do better than people anticipate. We're already seeing that the Fox Dumbledore's Phoenix buildable set is starting to appreciate pretty well on the secondary market. And I think Hedwig is an even more iconic character and Hedwig will do potentially even better. Hey there, before we go any further in the video, I do want to stop and uh, maybe ask you a question. Does anyone out there do video bumper making? So effectively what I'm looking for is I'm looking for an intro video that I can drop in every single one of my YouTube videos going forward. I would love to partner with another content creator or someone out there that is a Lego fan and give you a little shout out here on my YouTube channel for creating my bumper. Additionally, I'm also looking for a website designer. The jakesbricks.com website is no good, no good at all. And I'm always looking to improve my website and my YouTube content through a bumper video. So if you are in that space or you know someone in that space, let me know in the comments below or I will throw my email on the screen right now. Would love for you to reach out to me via email and would love to partner with you and give you a shout out for your specific web design company, your video design company. And I'd love to see what a partnership between Jake's Bricks and you as a content creator or a video or website designer could produce. So let me know, shoot me an email, would love to work alongside of you, but let's waste no more time. Let's jump back into our list. Next, we have the $50 Hogwarts Hospital Wing. This is our first ever Hogwarts Hospital set that we've gotten. This set was released in March of 2022, so we're looking at just under two years on the shelves, which is an average shelf life for a Harry Potter set. This set does include four figures. Two of them are unique. And if I'm correct, this is the first ever Lego Harry Potter set we've gotten with a Madame Poppy Humphrey minifigure. She is unique to this set, and I think her collectability alone helps the value of this set on the secondary market. I don't imagine we'll probably ever get another Madame Poppy minifigure because she's not a super well-known character, and to be honest, I'm frankly quite surprised that she was included in this Lego set or we created a Lego set to include that specific figure. So it's great that we have one and I imagine Harry Potter fans will want to get their hands on her as well. So shorter-ish shelf life, specific rare exclusive figure already valued around $10 for her specific fig on the secondary market. I think this set is going to do decent. So I'm going to grade it at a B for investing. Next, another $50 Lego set and that is the Hogwarts Courtyard Sirius's Rescue. Try to say Sirius is three times fast. 
Sirius's rescue, uh, this set includes three unique minifigures, and I think the most desirable is definitely the Sirius Black minifigure. He's got a specific outfit that you could only get in this Lego set. I think he's already worth around seven to eight dollars on the secondary market. The Hermione and the Harry Potter are unique as well. But what makes this set even more value than any of the others is the Buckbeak figure. We've had Buckbeak before, but he's not been in that many sets, and I think the Buckbeak character is extremely desirable, and that will help this. So it, ultimately, we could say we've got four figures included in this Lego set. So those factors help. The set was released in June of 2022, so we're looking at about a year and a half on the shelves when it retires here at the end of the year or sometime before then. So I'm going to give this set a B for investing. I think it's going to do pretty well. Next is the $65 Hogwarts Magical Trunk. This set makes no sense to me at all. I don't even know why they released it. I don't even know what it was for. It's a bunch of random pieces that you can use to create your own custom Harry Potter figures. There is a Professor McGonagall figure included in this Lego set that is not unique to this Lego set, so that doesn't increase its desirability. This set has been consistently discounted on the secondary market. The MSRP, I think, is $65.00. And it just really doesn't have enough going for it. It's got great figure parts. If you want to just build some minifigures, it's got great pieces. But none of them are specific characters outside of the McGonagall figure. I think you could piece together to get a Harry Potter or a couple other figures if I remember correctly. But it's just... It's just random to me, absolutely random. So for investing, if we're thinking we're gonna invest in the set at MSRP, which is $65, we would want it to be worth $100 or $120 in the next couple of years for a quality return on investment. I just don't see that happening at all. So I'm gonna grade this set at a C- minus for investing. I'm personally avoiding it and I would encourage you to do so as well. Next up, we have the $80 Harry Potter 4 Private Drive. Uh, this set has been on the market forever, it feels like. I feel like I've seen it on shelves in a variety of different retails for over three years, and I believe that's correct because it was released in 2020. Another set that we're looking at three plus years on the shelves, and no. This is a no. An absolute no for investing. The reason I'm giving it a no for investing is I don't like the price point. It's way too overpriced at $80. Consistently available for $63.99 at a ton of retailers have seen it discounted down to 55 or even $50 many times. And of course, when I do these grading systems, I have to rate it as if you're buying it at MSRP. If you're picking the set up at 45 or $50, it's more decent of an investment because I could see it getting to 85 or $90. But I don't see this eclipsing the $100 mark anytime soon, and it's an already $80 Lego set. It does have six figures included, and five of them are technically unique, so that does help. But long shelf life, high dollar value, and a consistently available on discount, tons of inventory in the secondary market. I'm passing on it for investing, and I'm encouraging you to do as well. I'm grading the set at a C minus. Next up, a $100 Lego set, and that is the Ministry of Magic. When I saw this set first when it originally came out, I was like, sweet, our first ever Ministry of Magic Lego set. I kind of like the look, although it looks a little bit empty or sparse. I like the dark green pieces. Overall, I think it's a really high quality Lego set. It does include 10 figures, which is an amazing amount of figures for a $100 Lego set. So that has a lot going for it. I think nine of the figures are unique. I've heard of many people picking up this Lego set for $50 or below at Sam's Club and Costco and other big box retailers. So I think the inventory that's out there currently on the secondary market was bought in, in masses on extreme discounts, which means it's going to struggle to get past or slightly above the MSRP post-retirement. So that's going to hurt its investment potential if you are picking it up at $100. If you're watching this video and you found it for $50, I would buy as many as I can. I don't think it's going to struggle to eclipse the MSRP post-retirement but I think it's probably gonna be 105, 110, maybe $120 for a while. So all of those factors considered, I can't grade it very high because I just think there's too much discounted inventory out there. I'm gonna grade it at a B minus for investing. And our last set is 12 Grimald Place. 
This is a $120 Lego set, I believe was released in June of 2022, so we're looking at about a year and a half on the shelves. It includes nine figures and nine of them. All nine of them are unique to this specific Lego set. Unfortunately, I've seen this set consistently trending under the market value on the secondary market, picking up anywhere from $85 to $105. And I'm not really sure why that is because I haven't seen a ton of discounts on this Lego set. But the reason I like this Lego set more than the Ministry of Magic is all of the figures are unique and some of them are extremely desirable at already trending anywhere from eight to $12 on the secondary market. Specifically, the creature minifigure, Sirius Black, Nymphadora, and Kingsley are high dollar figures already. They are unique or at least have unique outfits to this set. And if they aren't remade, this set could do pretty well for investing just based on the minifigures alone. And overall, the build is pretty strong. It's not huge, but it's a great build and I like it. So it has a lot of things going for it. It didn't make my top 10 list for investing sets in 2023, but it was darn close. So I actually am going to grade this set at a B plus for investing and wouldn't be surprised if we see this set worth anywhere from $160 to $180 by next Christmas. So I could be surprised. We're going to have to see how much inventory is on the secondary market. But I think this set will do pretty well for investing as long as those figures stay unique to this set. Well, there it is, friends. Every single Lego Harry Potter set that's retiring here at the end of the year. If I missed any sets or you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments below. Again, my goal from this channel is to help you as a Lego collector fund your Lego building hobby through Lego investing. As always, y'all, it's Jake from Jake's Bricks signing off. We'll see you guys.